crew are world-class dancers, and that just shows the resilience of our, of our staff. So, I'll get into what this is all about. Obviously, it's been released to the press, uh, released to, the, to Bursa Malaysia, but I'll try and give you my context and our board's context. What have we done? We're basically putting uh, capital A is selling its aviation assets to AirAsia X, and in time, when we're listed, probably in September, we will be called AirAsia Group. And then we will merge the X airlines into the short haul airlines um, after that. What is the, 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 the purchase price? It's nominally 6.8 billion um, for the assets, the capital aviation assets, but the real payment to AirAsia X, X shareholders are giving 3 billion worth of shares. So X shareholders are getting a fantastically well-oiled short-haul airline, four planes, a great order book for effectively three billion, and guaranteeing them massive growth. AirAsia shareholders are getting out of PN17, plus getting the future potentials of all those routes we couldn't do before. And that is very exciting from where I am, and that's why I stayed on for another five years to deliver this second disruption will be the first um, short haul network carrier, uh, narrow body network carrier, not short haul. So, you know, the benefits to capital A shareholders, shareholder equity will be positive, pave the way for PN17 exit, and I believe before June 20th, our focus now is getting the circulars out to the shareholders but before June 20th, we will put in a full regularization plan. And of course, that regularization plan will be much easier because we're in positive equity. 